hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with a beautiful set of nails and we're gonna start off with her feel so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove her bling and then i'm gonna go in and remove the gel top coat that she has on as well as just file her nails as we remove the gel top coat so i'm using a medium drill bit and the reason why i'm using a medium one is because you need something that's coarse enough that's going to take away the gel polish quickly if you were to use a fine one it will still remove the gel polish but it will take a little bit longer so that's why i'm using a medium grit drill bit and i'll leave the link in the description so once again we're just going to go in and remove the gel top coat and then just file them as we prep them for a feel Alrighty, and if you are a beginner this would be the part that you would take away any of the part that's lifted I know when you first start doing nails it's a little bit hard to prevent any lifting so if you do have lifting this would be where you would take away that piece that's lifted and you want to make sure you do that because if not your nail will continue to lift if you don't cut out the lifted part and you can do that with your drill or you could also use a pair of nippers but you would have to be really really careful not to lift the rest of the nail because if not you would just have to take off the whole nail and just apply a whole new nail so be careful with that but what i do whenever i do have a little bit of lifting i just remove it with my drill i just kind of file it away and once again this is a medium drill bit and i'll leave the link in the description Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick and I'm just using this to push back the cuticles and what this is it's basically just like that white stick and it comes with like the little stickers that you just put on the stick and you just throw away the old one and like I said I just use this to remove or to push back the cuticles then after this I'm gonna go in with my sanding band and I'm gonna use a 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail and remember this part is really important you want to make sure that you take all of the shiny part off the nail because if not your nails will lift our nails have a lot of natural oils and it's kind of like oil and water they don't mix together so if you don't prep the nail and you just put that acrylic over the nail it will just separate because it's like i said it's oil and water they don't go together so you want to make sure you remove that shiny nail or sorry the shiny the, the shine from the natural nail to prevent any lifting All 
Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in and apply my primer. So I'm using my OPI Bondex, and we're only applying this to the natural nail. You wanna make sure that you don't get it on their skin because it will burn especially if you cut them with the drill it will cause a really bad burning sensation so make sure that you only apply it on the natural nail Alrighty, so for my acrylic, I'm using my Mia Secret acrylic and I'm using my pink powder and my liquid. And as you can see, I poured the liquid into the container and I noticed that it was some leftover liquid from my last set. So I dumped it out because I don't like using the same liquid on different people. So I refilled it. Once again, this is my Mia Secret acrylic system and the powder is in the color pink. And I'm using my alpha brush in a number nine. So once again, we're just going to refill her nails and then you kind of want to look at it from different angles when you're doing it because um, you might have a little bump or lump and you want to just fill in the nail really good. That way you don't have any little lumps or bumps. And whenever you get around a cuticle area, you want to make sure that you clean really good. You don't want any product over the cuticle or just on the skin at all because it will cause lifting so once again i'm using my mia secret acrylic system which is my pink powder and my liquid and then i'm using my alpha brush in the oval and the number nine Alrighty, so here is a closer view. So as you can see, I just place my bead closer to the cuticle area. I brush it down towards the tip and then I clean around the cuticle area. And I do wipe my brush before I clean around the cuticle area. And then remember, just kind of add acrylic as you need it. It still looked a little bit too flat by the cuticle area. So that's why I went back and applied another bead. So remember, work smarter and not harder. Don't go and apply a big bead at the beginning and then have a big lump of acrylic. So kind of just watch what you're doing and just add wisely.
Alrighty, so once again, I'm going to apply my bead closer to the cuticle area. I'm going to pat it down. And after I pat it down, I brush it down towards the tip. And remember, you want to look at your nail. And if you have any little bumps or lumps, you want to go back in and add some more acrylic where it's needed. Don't go in and just apply a big bead to begin with because especially if you're a beginner, you don't want to work with a lot of products. That way, you want to just work with the amount that you can control and remember to always go back and clean around your cuticle area and I don't ever get a lot of acrylic on the cuticle but I like to just go back and clean around just to be safe and just so my cuticle area will be nice and neat Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in and reshape the nail so I'm using a 100 100 nail file and we're going to just reshape that nail or redefine that shape because it's already a coffin shape so we just re want to redefine that shape and also I want to mention that after you apply your acrylic once you finish applying the acrylic on the last nail the rest of your nails should already be dry usually um, depending on like the length of the nail or something sometimes it takes a little bit longer or or the process it's a little bit faster I meant to say so by the time I get to that last nail to reshape it it might be still a little bit wet so I always just kind of go back and wait a little bit to reshape that last nail which I applied the acrylic on that way it dries all the way but other than that your nails should be dry by the time you get to the filing part I know sometimes if you're using the odorless acrylic it does take a little bit longer to dry but i'm just using the regular mia secret acrylic system so once again by the time i get to the filing part of reshaping the nail all of my acrylic is already dry so i don't have to have some sort of fan or anything to dry my acrylic now you can have a fan to dry your regular polish but i don't use it to dry my acrylic Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to file my nails. So I'm using a fine drill bit and I will leave the link in the description to my drill and my drill bits as well. I will have the safety bit and the fine drill bit on my website once it's restocked, which should be here in the next week or so. Hopefully it's very, very soon. I know it's taking so long, but it's because the post office actually lost my biggest order. So that's why it's taking so long for me to restock this time. But anyways, once again, I'm using my fine drill bit. And as you can see, I always focus on that cuticle area first and then I just file down towards the nail to make sure there's no little bumps or lumps or anything so remember focus on that cuticle area because a lot of your lifting will come from that part if you don't file correctly you will get lifting which will cause water or just any moisture to get under your nail and it will cause your nail to lift so be careful with that and also I do want to mention that I only use three nail drill bits which is this one which is my fine drill bit I use a medium drill bit which looks just like this it's just a little bit more coarse and I use that one to remove the gel polish and then I use my sanding band or my sanding bit which is to remove the shine from the natural nail so those are the only three ones that I use um, and yeah those aren't really the only three that I ever use so once again we're just filing the nail
Alrighty, so now we're just going to go in and buff the nails and this is to just remove any scratches that are left on the nail from the e-file so this is just going to make the nails really nice and smooth because if you don't buff them and you just apply a polish over them you will be able to see every little scratch that's left from that file so that's why we're going in and making sure that it's nice and smooth and i always run my finger over the top of the nail to make sure i don't feel any bumps or lumps and if it's nice and smooth and smooth then i just go over to the next hand and i'm just using a two-way buffer and you can find these on ebay so i'll leave the link in the description Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in and just wipe her nails off with an alcohol wipe and that is just to remove any of the little dust left on the nails and after this we're going to go over to the polish application. So first thing I'm doing is I'm going in with this regular polish which is a yellow by Ruby Kiss and I'm just doing this regular polish on her ring fingers and the rest of her nails will be gel polish which will be the Mimosa by Madame Glam which is a really pretty yellow and the reason why I'm doing this regular regular polish on this ring finger is because I'm doing an ombre effect with a red and the same yellow and the only way to do this technique with the sponge or the only yeah I guess the only way to do it with regular polish is doing it with a sponge so that's why I'm doing regular polish so once again the rest of the nails will be this other yellow which is really similar to that one on her ring finger in the color mimosa by madam glam and remember I still have a promo code to madam glam so I'll leave that link in the description Here we go. so now we're gonna put that hand under the light for 30 seconds and then we're gonna move on to the other hand so same thing I'm doing that regular polish by Ruby Kiss on her ring fingers and then for the rest of the nails I'm gonna be doing the mimosa color by Madame Glam and then we're gonna go back and do a second coat on both hands Alrighty, so now I'm just going in and doing a second coat of this yellow and y'all this yellow is so pretty it's been so popular I'm almost out of it because everybody wants it as you can see it's really really pretty so there's no way to turn it down so once again I'm just doing a second coat of this yellow and then we're gonna cure them for 30 seconds and we're gonna do the other hand as well I'm 
Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in with my Dragon Fire and that same yellow by Ruby Kiss. Both of them are regular polishes. I'm gonna put them on my Makeup Wet Sponge. I do the red first and then the yellow, or you can do it either way, but you want that red to overlap the yellow at the end. So I'm just gonna dab it onto the nail and you just wanna do this about two or three times. These colors are both pretty vibrant, so you don't have to do a lot of coats of it. <laughs> Alrighty, and to clean around the cuticle area, I'm just using my French brush by Alpha Brush in a number 6. And this is also on their website, so I'll leave the link in the description as well as their promo code. So once again, I'm going to go back and add some more polish to the sponge. I do the yellow and then I do the red over it and then I'm just going to dab it on the nail. And remember, we're doing this about two times. Like I said, these two colors are pretty vibrant, so I don't have to go back and do a lot of coats. And once again, this is my French brush by Alpha Brush and I'll leave the link in the description. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in and draw a palm tree. So for that, I'm using my Broadway nail art paint in the color black. And remember, they have these at Dollar General and they're only a dollar. So go check them out. So I'm just drawing the little palm tree. And once again, this is regular polish. And I'm just doing the little, what is it called? I don't know. I'm just drawing the palm tree. And I was looking at a picture that she had. So that's how I knew how to draw it. Um, usually I'm pretty good at just being able to look at stuff and just being able to draw it But I'm um, honestly I cannot draw on paper so I don't know how I can do this nail art So I'm just you want to make sure that you are cleaning your brush off a lot Or dipping it back into the polish because this polish kind of dries up really fast as you can see And then for this one I am going to have to come back and add some more little leaves to it Because it's going to be really I don't know it kind of looked funny so after I finish this one I'm going to do the other one and then I'm coming back to this one so remember just use the very tip of your brush and if you have to keep dipping it back into your polish then that's fine but remember to just keep um, using your tip that way your lines aren't really thick. So same thing for this one you want to just use the very tip of your brush that way you have really skinny lines and sorry about my camera but I didn't realize that I was out of the camera until the end so um, this palm tree actually turned out really really pretty compared to the other one but once again I am gonna go back and add some more little leaves to this one because as you can see the other one looked way better so once again, I'm just using the very tip of my brush. And as you can see, some of them, I do them like going up. And then the other ones, I do them kind of going down, if that makes sense. But you can kind of see how I switch the position of my brush as I'm doing the little leaves. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in and apply my gel top coat. So I'm using my IBD gel top coat. And I am going to do the gel top coat on the ring finger as well, the ones with the palm trees. And yes, it is regular polish. But remember, you can do regular polish and a gel top coat. You just have to make sure that the regular polish is completely, completely, completely dry before you apply that gel top coat over it. Because if it's not completely dry, then it will crack. Um, 
throughout the whole nail so keep that in mind and the way to know if the nail is completely dry is you really just want to like feel on it and if it's dry then of course it's okay to do the top coat but just keep that in mind and after this we're just going to cure them for 60 seconds and we're going to apply the top coat on the other hand as well Alrighty, so now I'm just going to apply my clear pineapple cuticle oil which will be on my website pretty soon and I just massage it onto her cuticles. So this is the final look. They turned out so pretty. They're really simple yet really really pretty and that yellow is just beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at GetNail32 and I'll see you guys in my next video.